hello hello welcome back to divine destiny guide i'm back with another message for you i pray you're doing well wherever you are sending you the purest of love and light god is for us who can be against us you're blessed and highly favored and you're anchored and secure in divine love so if it's your first time welcome back returning soul drivers new soul drivers thank you for your continuous love and your support i truly appreciate you so for a lot of you some of you and guys remember it's an energy so you could be this handsome king but it says beauty queen so a lot of you you're shining some of you you could be in the spotlight as well on stage adorn you're doing your thing and you're admired or seen at this time so you could have friendships, friends, acquaintances, networking, maybe people wanting to get to meet you and all of this stuff. Could be a new person, an unknown person, a new love. So it's like you could be out there having fun, single doing your thing and you're open to partnerships and relationships. But it says here, open relationships. So somebody may want... You know, one of those relationships where it doesn't have any name. So no commitment, casual and open. So free to date. So again, this is telling me it's kind of like knowing your worth. Or people can see you out there shining, doing your thing, you know. And they want to come into your life as a distraction. They're probably not even available. Again, this could happen in the past. Maybe this is confirmation for somebody or this could be something in the future. So please take it as how it resonates. I'm just bringing the message. So yeah, so somebody may want to come in to propose something, but it's like they're not emotionally available. So yeah, passion, chemistry, passionate feeling. And again, passion is good. But passion alone, you know, is like the fire alone because sometimes things start too fast, hot and heavy, then it fizzes out quickly. So again, with the friendship card here, you know, it's like too many cooks in the kitchen here. You know, it's like, you know, it's, it's, <laughs> yeah, it's, yeah, it's definitely one of those threes a crowd. And so for a lot of you, though, you're not into that. So you're looking for something that is serious, a serious relationship, marriage, partnership, something long term. That is what you are open to. You're not into all of that stuff, you know, and this good also entails. So it says blonde female, mature woman. But it's like you're not into all of that that stuff there. You know, you're looking something more of a soulmate. A great connection, a relationship. You're not into all that player stuff. And that may just be what somebody wants to come in to bring to you. So with you being the beauty queen here, this is telling me that you are a star. So you are seen, and I love to say you're a star. They cannot stop us from shining. So sometimes when you're shining brightly, this could even be somebody in the past who was not available to you, available for you. And this person now wants to come back because they see that you're doing your thing. You're, you're getting notoriety. People love you. And all of this stuff. And so they just want to come back to like to rain on your parade. It's like they want to dust the sheen off of you. To bring you down. You look too happy. I mean this is somebody who is a fun sucker. So this is why it is so important. Like I said this person. They may not even be ready to settle down. They're all about an open relationship. But they want to come back in your life. Yeah to bring heartbreak it's like it's like i said too many cooks in the kitchen too many hands on deck here with this friendship all it's gonna be is heartache and heartbreak and again if you have been hurt bad enough then you definitely want to make sure of the person or people who are coming back into your life as to what is their motive and their agenda 
because some people just want to come in to kick it. We have the passion card here. You know, it's, it's just lustful. It's just sex. It's, you know, there is nothing to it. No substance. If anything, they are the only ones who will be getting something out of it because they will see you crash and burn. And it's like you, it breaks you down and it builds them up. And then now you will have to spend time to lick your wound, pray, ask for forgiveness, and go back through that healing journey all over again. You know, it's like, is it worth it? So this is why a lot of you, you're opting for, you know, the new. Give me something new. You want something that is stable, something that is long-lasting, something that is not just there for a fun time. But you want someone or a relationship that will be there for a long time. So some of you could be having trust issues based on what you have gone through in the past. And so this may come to play with any new connections or relationships that you have as well. So again, it's just good to pay attention to that. So yeah, so a lot of you... You are the stone that the builder rejected and now you become the main cornerstone. So for you, this person could be running back even though they are not available. All because they see that you have something going on in your life for you. But they rejected you in the past. They didn't want you. They, you know, it's like too many fish in the sea to miss one. And so, again, it's like now they want to come back. But the motive and the agenda is not good. It's not good. For a lot of you, you bounce back stronger. So, again, you went through a lot of heartache. This kind of reminds me, too, of the seven, the seven of cups where people put you up as options. So, it's like you had your heart broken. And after you've done the healing with all this, stuff you bounce back from that you bounce back stronger yeah wow some of these people who hurt you they are in spiritual jail it says here you're an earth angel and yeah they want to spin the block okay but it's like you don't want that you want a divine connection wow Mm -mm -mm. Wow. Yeah, for the union, it says your hard work is paying off. So whatever you have been doing to love on yourself, to pour on yourself, this is what is going to help you to attract the person who is suitable for your soul. You have been healing. You learn from your mistakes. You're pouring back into your own cups. You're watering yourself. So again, when this person comes back to spin the block, you know, you're not available. People treat us according to how we allow them to. And see, this is why a lot of these persons who are emotional, abusive, they don't want you to heal. Because when you love yourself, then it's like that makes you an independent person emotionally. Because they like people who are clingy. So it's like they have a roster. You know, we're talking about the player, whether male or female here. And I mean, guys, you go through things as well, where you have females who are players out there too. So it's important for you to know yourself, to love yourself. To pour back into yourself. So you don't allow anybody to be able to manipulate you and to play games with you. Because as I see these cards here, the blonde female, the you know mature woman. For a lot of you, maybe you become mature. You know, it's like you glow up after you've gone through that. Because it says you become stronger. So now you are, you are in high society, so you are in high demand. So you level up. 
And this is what I always say. It's like it's your perspective. Even the, the worst things that came to take us out. We can come back better and stronger from it. We can come back better and not bitter. Because if you are bitter, then it's like you won't, it, 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 it prohibits you from growing, glowing, and evolving. From knowing your worth. Again, your vibe attracts your tribe. And all of us, at some point, we weren't vibrating at the level that you were. And so where you were at the moment, you encounter people on those levels. But it's like as you go through life and you made mistakes or people, you know, again, they, they left you in the, out in the cold. They, they have you as an option. They couldn't decide. It's like they're juggling. And you nurse your wounds here. And you bounce back. And now you are this mature person. You hold yourself in high regards. And again, you are this beauty queen. So this person, a lot of these people, they are not happy when you have that confidence and that glow. So they want to come back, like I said, to see how they can wipe that off of your face. Yeah, for a lot of you, God showed up just in the nick of time to remove you from that situation. Because it's like, you know, whatever you were going through in that connection, that relationship, it could have ended way worse. But God showed up on time. And Spirit is saying here, it's time to cut the cords. So for a lot of, you know, these things, you have soul ties with these people. And it's, it's going to God. It's doing your cleansing. It's envisioning you cutting those cords spiritually that connects you with this person, especially after being intimate. I mean, this is spiritual work. And it's like, if, if, if it's not done, it's like these people, this is how they always think that they have access to your energy. They can tug on you. They can... It's like, even if you move on to a relationship, they feel as if they can still invade your relationship, your connection. So it's very important to cut those cords, to cleanse spiritually, you know, take the, the baths, the spiritual baths. Like I said, envision you cutting those cords that connect you with that individual. And so those energies and those soul ties are no longer there. So yeah, it's like spirit wants to bring the new beginning that you so desire. So even though, yes, maybe men too, mature. Even though mature could just mean you're wiser. It doesn't mean that you're older necessarily. You gain a lot of wisdom from the things that you have gone through. But you may still need to cut to cut some cords. You know, it's like this may be the last thing that you need to do to cut those cords. To get those people or person out of your energy. And then the new beginning, the relationship that you so desire, so deserve. New beginnings, new start then that will come into play for you because God knows that you have been through a lot, a lot of burdens, a lot of ups and downs when it comes to relationship and partnership and choosing the right person, having the long-term connection. And so for a lot of you people, our persons are going to be in regret because you are the one that got away. And this could be what somebody or some people they are realizing that you are the one that got away because now it's like how comes you weren't shining like that how comes you weren't like that when we were together but then for a lot of you you couldn't be like that 
Because this person have you in heartache, heartbreak, and disappointment. You, For a lot of you, a lot of us, it's really after these people or persons leave your life, when blockages are removed, then you're able to come into your season. And this is how you come to know the gifts and the talents. And again, just turning your pain into purpose. By being that star, you were able to heal yourself. Now you can go back to help to heal others. And now because you're shining and you're, it's like you're on display, you're out in the public. Now people or persons may want to come back to ruin that for you. They're still not, they have not evolved. They are at the same place where you left them. So, yeah. So a lot of these people, you know, they probably could have done bad things to you in the past. Like it says, you've been through a lot, a lot of burdens. Some of these you need to, you had to return to sender. Thank God angels were protecting you. And it says that their traps backfired. For some of you, yes, it could have been a toxic partner. So it's like, even though you overcome or overcame that relationship, new levels, new devils. So again, your vibe attracts your tribe, but then sometimes because like a moth to a flame, as a star, a light worker, a healer, a lot of people are going to be attracted to us. So again, it's the lessons that we learned along the way to avoid those same pitfalls those same you know dealing with people who are not available because again and, and a lot of these people who are so toxic and messed up is like is, is almost they enjoy the game because they know that if they can come back to love bomb you tell you what they think you want to hear and get you back to square one again to break your heart then it's like the more trust issues you have, then it's it's the hard, it's gonna be harder for you to trust other uh, partners in, in the future because you're so broken. So this is why it's important to protect yourself even after you have done the healing work. It doesn't mean that the enemy finish. You know, it doesn't mean that the enemy is not going to send other people or other persons are not naturally going to to uh, approach you. But it's like when you know your worth, then you know you don't have to accept any and every offer. Now you know what you desire. Now you know what you deserve. So it's about your worth. It's like the Knight of Pentacles, slow and steady win the race. It's like no rush here. You know, you see how he's scrutinizing inspecting that pentacle you know it's like you're turning things over any new offer you're looking at it to see is this tangible how is this gonna benefit me is this person suitable for my soul or is my peace more important because you have done so much work on yourself it's like is it worth it it's like when you remember the the pain and the mental anguish it's like, no, you don't want that. And it says here, the six of pentacles, what you want is really equal give and take, justice, balance. For a lot of you, this person, they were given to too many people here. You know, they thought they were Casanova or, you know, the it girl, whatever, so they could spread themselves thin to give to other people. They love it when they think they have people grappling for their attention and their affection. And it's like, no, you're not, you're not in for that. You're, you're not going to deal with that. And so for a lot of you, you lay all of that to rest. You lay all of that to rest and you're moving on to calmer water with the six of sword here. It's like, okay, you can't give that what I, what I'm looking for. You can't give it to me. I'm going to move on. We are either I attend to myself, heal myself, take care of myself until God is ready to provide the relationship. 
like I said, a lot of these people are this person. So some of you, you know, you could manifest a relationship, the one that you desire and deserve, but also, you know, with the magician and the two of swords, this person could have been like a manipulator as well, who was playing a lot of games, a lot of tricks. Because, I mean, it looks like, you know, one of those, now you see it, now you don't. You know, all the, you know, they come as if they're bringing in flowers, just a lot of sweet talk. And then by the time they're finished, you're left trapped, confused. You know, conflicted, torn. I mean, it's like, does he love me? He love me, he loves me not. Yeah, so a lot of you, you bounce back with this nine of cups here. You, you learn to love yourself. You pour into yourself. This is how you bounce back stronger. Self-love, self-care. I'm telling you, a lot of these people, they had you in with options here with the seven of cups. Wow. And the devil here. Yeah, it's like they want you to be bound to this toxic lifestyle. And a lot of you, you're saying no. See how this person sitting back in the sofa, looking at the cups. For a lot of you, this person, the, the, you know, they knew that something was special about you, but they loved the game. Because they were toxic, obsessive. They were chained to the devil. Filled with lust and all of this, you know, fleshly stuff. So for a lot of you, it's like you know what you're looking for. It's like you can see exactly the cup that you want. You don't have time to play games. You have time to sit back and, and know what you want. You are able to know who the fakes and the phonies are. And you can say, no, not, 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 not you, not today, Satan, not today, not ever. Okay, you're, you're done with that. You're done with that. Those people who come in with the wand, you know, all they come in for is, is a, a, a fun time, not a long time. And a lot of these people, you know, however, with their body, again, whether male or female, they think that they can entice you with their body or just with sex alone. This is how they were able to do it a long time. I'm telling you, look, the star. The star, two different decks, it came out twice. You healed yourself. He says, God showed up on time. You're a healer. You're a light worker. Some of you are influencers as well. I'm telling you, a lot of you, you're going to be sharing your stories of how you overcame betrayal. You know, people who abandoned you, rejected you, broke your heart and help people. How to restore hope and heal themselves to love themselves yeah God stepped in because it's like people were fumbling they were playing and again sometimes you don't we don't know ourselves we didn't even know that we are the star for I know the thoughts I think towards you says the Lord thoughts of peace and of and not of evil to give you a future and a hope Jeremiah 29, 11. So it's like a lot of you, a lot of us, we didn't even know our worth. And it took for God to show up, whether this is through, you know, a tower, a sudden shakeup, something happened. And God saved you just in the nick of time. I'm telling you, with the moon here and the ace of swords, God saved you just in the nick of time. Because there's a lot of things that were done under the moon. The moon is also about intuition as well. And with the sword, it's like, you know, cutting the cord. This is the truth. This is the clarity a lot of you are getting. So this is what a lot of you are learning or the insight that you gain. That a lot of things were done in the background. Some of these people, we saw the devil and the magician... You know, a lot of these people, 
they use demonic and evil entity to help them with what they're doing with their love spell and their glamour spell to get you addicted and attracted to them as well. When they come, it's not just them alone coming. I mean, they, they have spiritually transmitted disease. And so when you become involved with this person, it's not just this one person that you're having intercourse with. If they have it with 10, 100 people, it's like you and those 100 people having intercourse as well. So this is why it's important to cut those cords. Get those toxic people out of your energy and then you will have the two of cups here. The love. See the chariot coming in. This is willpower. And then we have the lovers here. This is not two people. This is, I mean, this is not like on other cards where you have two women with one man. No, it's like you have the angel right there. You know, so it's like this is something that is divinely guided with the chariot something that's divinely guided and orchestrated with the six of cups is gonna feel like home something that's gonna bring a lot of celebration and happiness here with the three of cups but it's like you're done with anything that brings third party you're only open to ace of cups new beginnings new offers see it has on here the cross so only things that are of God that you're interested in. Nothing outside of. So I love this for you. I love this for us. Until next time, be blessed.